Hey guys, Paul the Cloud Chasing Cyclist, back here for another review. And no, it's not an Aegis review, folks. It's a Harbour review. It's the Cooper Mini. Okay, folks, as I said in the introduction there, um, it's the Cooper Mini. Um, I bought this from gear best and you can still get it there uh, for in and around between 19 and 20 pounds um, I wasn't given this for review purposes I actually bought this myself and I have to say I've been well impressed with it but we'll get into it here this is the box it comes in it has the device in the front Cooper Mini on the side Cooper Centrification Focus. There we go. And barcode and blank. Um, comes in this wee sleeve here. And it has the Cooper logo. It's like a chip sort of design. That's actually on the device as well. And we draw it. Device itself, set that to one side. Get your box. Get your instruction manual. It comes with a battery safety card, which I actually thought was pretty good, um, especially for people that's moving on from things like this where it's enclosed, you're not dealing with batteries, you're moving on to something like this and you're having to start dealing with 18650s and such, so it sort of gives you an idea of what to look for, um, I thought that was really good on their part, um, what else we've got, customer card in there to fill in your details and it gives you your warranty and stuff, so, set that to the side, Instructions, the instruction book. I thought it was pretty, pretty good. Uh, it covers everything really, so I advise you to give it a good look over. The device itself, it's a dainty wee device, and I bought this basically, well we'll talk about that when we go back up to normal view, um, well made metal, uh, is it spring murdered, let's find out folks. Yep, there's a good throw on that there, so it is. It's gold plated, and as you can see from the inside, just slides down for to take the battery cover off. The contacts are gold plated as well on the inside, and it's a good spring for the battery as well. We BB magnet ports points. Indication there of what way the battery goes. And your ribbon. Battery goes in as such. Put your ribbon over it. Um, Just goes on there nicely. There's no real play. Obviously, there's up and down because you have to slide it down. But apart from that, there's no real play. The buttons 
nice clicky buttons. You can hear it on the wee logo. And it is tiny, I mean, covers by my hand would cover it like, but it's well, well made. So, five clicks on. So, scrolls right down. One watt. All the way up. To 60 watts. For the menu, three clicks. Wattage, temp, and then you just leave it on what you want, and that's it. Activate it. Three clicks again. Pick your coil. Nickel, titanium, nickel, titanium. Three clicks again. You can pick what temperature you want, soft, normal, hard. I normally leave it normal. Screen time. I have mine set at 5 seconds, so after 5 seconds my screen will go off. Puff counts. Screen rotation. I just normally leave all that alone. And are off. So we'll head back up to normal view and we'll show you how it vapes. Again we're up in normal view here. Um, it's a pretty simple wee device. Uh, I bought this because as you know I'm the cloud chasing cyclist. And I've seen from my vlogs before, I like to vape while on the bike. So I wanted something, first of all, cheap. So if it does break, I'm not going to worry about it. I can just replace it. I say. Um, but I have to say, I've been well impressed with this device. Yes, it's under £20. But I've dropped this. I've had it now just under two weeks. And I've dropped it about six, seven times. Getting in and out of the car or on the bike or whatever. I've stood on it, everything, and the door still works. A few wee dents and scratches. It does come with this, but I don't like using them because the simple fact, when you want to change your batteries, you have to peel this off, take your battery out, put your battery, new battery in, peel it back on again, and it's I'm too lazy. So I don't use it, but it does, I'll mention it anyway, it does come free with this. So it does, but I don't use it. Um, the device, it goes to 60 watts. So it does, but I've never really kept it at 60 watts because as the battery level drops down, it won't let you vape at 60. You'll get a, the odd puff, but you won't get a continuous puff. It cuts out. So I normally keep it in around between 40 and 50 watts when I'm in wattage mode. Um, the temp mode works fine. So I've got two tanks here with two different builds. But the Bellas, which will be reviewed soon, and the Billow. Bellas has a Camfall build on it. The Billow has a Nickel build on it. So we'll do the Camfall first. And yeah, 
half battery and it's saying weak battery, it won't let me be a bit 60. So we'll drop her down to 40 watts. It's a 0.32 build. And she performs every time. So, like I've said, it is, it's a workhorse, it's, it's something you would get, you can just throw in your pocket, it's, I mean, it's small, I mean, look, it's small, but it works hard, um, stick the nickel build on, almost forgot to do that. <laughs> Now the only thing about this, it's not like the Snow Wolf where if I put this on I'd be able to vape straight away because it'll automatically recognise that it's a nickel build. You have to change it manually. So you go in, like as I showed you down below, three clicks into your menu, wattage mode, tip mode. Done. It's at 430 degrees Fahrenheit, it goes all the way up to 600 and then it round robins in Celsius and then round robins again into Fahrenheit, but I like using Fahrenheit. So we'll stick at 420. New coil, yes, 1.7 ohm coil. Nice thick vapor. Bump it up. 510 degrees Fahrenheit. You're getting the flavor there. Um, I mean, it could be with the bellow like, but for a wee small. Cheap mod that I bought from Gearbest, um, and for you, us in the UK and all, they have them in the EU warehouse. That's where I got mine from, and it only took like two weeks to get here. So, it, and that was coming up at the Christmas period, so folks were slow anyway. But I mean, you can't go wrong. Under twenty quid. I mean, most starter kits cost twenty quid and above, and. I mean, you're getting a mod, a time control mod, for less than what they cost. As I said, you can't go wrong with that. And yes, you have to supply your own battery. They do not supply a battery. If they did, I would be recommending this because they shouldn't be sending this out with a battery in it, which they don't do. Um, you get your battery. And, I mean, it means the mod's going to last longer because once this battery goes, I throw it in the bin. Once it, it won't hold the charge. I still have my mod, put a fresh battery in and it's still going. It's, to me, I prefer, I started off with bat, inbuilt batteries and all, like everybody did, but I prefer using um, external batteries. It's my own preference. But for anybody that wants a wee workhorse that can throw in their pocket, you can throw it in your shirt pocket, your trouser pocket, and take it to work with you. Yes, the battery's not going to last you all day, so you're going to have to carry a second battery with you because it's only a single battery. Um, depending on how much you're vaping on it, you probably get about half a day out of it. But, I mean, what's another battery to carry around? Nothing. So, yeah, I, I recommend this. Like I say, under 20 quid on Gearbest. And you can't go wrong. So, this is my review for the Cooper Mini. If you like my review, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. They all count, so they do. So, go back again soon. I have a couple of more things that have been sent out and stuff I've bought. So, see you again, YouTube. Keep her lit.